controversy surrounding Namdi Kano's ongoing imprisonment and norms. Hello everyone, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are here for the first time, kindly subscribe to our channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Reaction to Mazin Nandi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and the federal government's ongoing abduction of Kano, President Muhammad Buhari has come under fire. This is despite the likes of Oranese Indigo, other statesmen such as governor, the former governor of Anambra State, Chukwe Meka Ezefe, and the late Mbazurike Amechi, Chief Godwin Clark, among other prominent groups and individuals calling for Nigerian government to obey the court ruling. The federal government violated all national and international laws when it forc forcibly returned Kano to Nigeria, according to the Court of Appeal in Abuja, rendering the terrorism allegations against him ineffective and illegal. However, notwithstanding the court decision, the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, Abubakar Malami, had warned that Kano will not be freed, saying that the federal government will press more charges against him. This is in spite of Oganese Indigo, other statesmen like the late Mbazurike Amiji, Chief Godwin Clark, and the former governor of Anambra State, Chikwemeka Ezefe, as well as other well known organizations and people urging for the Nigerian government to obey the court's orders. Additionally, certain individual liberties organizations, such as the International Society for Civil Liberties and the Rule of Law into Society, had criticized Abubakar Malami, the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice over the development. The group claimed that Malamik's action were seriously driving Nigeria into a pit of radical on a regional and global scale, which had significant impact on the nation's socio-economic development, regional and global rankings for human rights, rule of law, and democracy. According to Comrade Emmanuel, Onubiko of the Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Uruwa, the Kano's continued detention would be seen as kidnapping and would increase other types of violence in the Southeast. Onubiko warned Buhari of this. Uruwa further ascertained that Buhari must stop using the poison Northern ethnic card and follow the court's decision spelling the leader of the IPO by accusing Malami of acting out of script of Mieti Ala Katu Dilas. Any further detention of Mazin Namikano would amount to active hostage taking and an outright criminal case of kidnapping which is actionable. We wonder why a lawyer of Malami's illustrious status Hadoring the title of a senior advocate of Nigeria is now speaking like a 100 level year student of one roadside law faculty in a corner of Nigeria, Onubiko said. He added that the federal government had rushed to the RP court after the federal attorney general and the minister of justice, Abubakar Malami, had used media platforms to impeach and discredit the the court that freed Mazin Namde Kanu. Many other people still believe that Kanu's release would restore peace in the Southeast region. In other democracies, when the court gives its ruling, the government or whoever it affects follows it up immediately, but that is not the case in Nigeria. One thing the Buhari government is known for is its total disobedience to the rule of law. 
a court gave an order, but instead of obeying the court ruling, they were they are busy transferring the judges that gave the ruling and instead those that will do their bidding. A security expert and senior lecturer in one of the federal universities told newsmen. People living and doing businesses in the Southeast are forced to sit at home every Monday, and I don't know how this is helping Malami and the Buhari government. But just as it has been said, it appears this government does not want peace in the Southeast. It is looking like they want the region to be destroyed. If that is not the case, tell me why Namdekano has been detained despite the court order. I know the APC and some people in the Buhari government want to use the situation to their own advantage. The plan is to keep the Southeast in crisis with the continued detention of Namdekano so that the people would be scared to come out to cast their votes on participants fuller, fuller in the election activities. They know that the Southeast is the stronghold of Labour Party candidate Mr. Peter Ubi, he added. Hmm. It's so sad. It's really, really so sad that the Nigerian government, President Mahmoud Buhari, do not even respect Igbo elders. It's really sad that these are happening. These are leaders who are supposed to restore peace, but they are the ones who are failing it the more. But they should have known that releasing Mazen Namdekan will actually, you know, uh, do a lot of good in the Southeast. Maybe, according to what the man said, they do not want peace in the Southeast. Maybe they want to destroy it, really. But what benefits would they gain from this? I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.